The Sunnah is what aligns with the truth, whether it is in my school of thought or not. Knowledge is not complete unless it is understood. Whoever seeks a path in which to seek knowledge, Allah will make his path to paradise easy. Knowledge is a light, and the light of Allah is not given to a sinner. If you want to succeed, learn patience. Be gentle with bottles and books. It is not a fault to make a mistake, but it is a fault to repeat it. If you desire knowledge, seek more listening and less speaking. A person may forget the sin he has committed, so let the one who accompanies a pious person remind him. There is no knowledge except that I am behind its companions. When they differ, so do I. If you want to know who you are, look at those you associate with. Do not oversleep or prolong sleep, for it steals intelligence and diminishes activity. Ignorance breeds arrogance, and arrogance leads to misguidance. Every harm that afflicts people is due to a sin they committed, and if they perform righteous deeds, blessings will come to them. If you see people neglecting prayers and turning away from traditions, know that they are on the verge of ruin. Every sin that afflicts a person is due to a reason, so ask for the reason to expiate the sin. Whoever humbles himself for Allah, Allah will elevate him. To know your status with Allah, look at your status with yourself. Whoever memorizes the Quran, his kinship will be strengthened. The world is a stream, so make ships of goodness for it. If you want to know your standing with Allah, look at your standing with yourself. The heart is like a glass bottle, if shaken, its contents will be shaken. Whoever loves to meet Allah, Allah loves to meet him. Whoever humbles himself for Allah will be raised by Allah. Patience and gentleness are needed, as they are not attained through ignorance and anger. Whoever knows himself knows the lowest of knowledge. Two words are light on the tongue, heavy on the scale, beloved to the merciful, glory be to Allah, and praise be to him, glory be to Allah, the great. The heart, when young, is like a blank paper, and when old, like a scorpion. The best earnings are those acquired by your own hands, and the noblest worship is fulfilling needs. Morality is the foundation of religion, and the highest knowledge is knowledge of Allah. He who begins the day without caring for the affairs of the Muslims is not a Muslim. Truth is the foundation of religion, and lying is the foundation of Satan. How many a calamity occurred without any cause, other than neglecting religion? A believer is not stung twice from the same hole. If the world becomes narrow for you, don't say, O oh Lord, it's narrow for me, but say, O oh world, you're narrow for me. Where's the way out? The most righteous among people are the most beneficial to people. He who pardons when he is strong deserves to be pardoned when he is weak. He who doesn't know himself doesn't know his Lord. The best halal, lawful earnings are those earned by the hand, and the noblest worship is the fulfillment of needs. He who does not concern himself with the affairs of the Muslims is not one of them. Sincerity is the essence of worship. How many calamities befall people, yet they are not for any reason other than being careless with religion. A believer is not stung from the same hole twice. The best among people in worship are those most beneficial to people. He who forgives, 
when he is in a position to punish deserves to be forgiven, when he is weak. The sign of Allah's love is richness with little. He who gives something from what he possesses to seek his pleasure, Allah will keep him safe from harm. The Upbringing of Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal was born in 780 CE in Baghdad, the capital of the Abbasid Caliphate at that time. His family belonged to a humble background and his father worked in the manufacturing sector. Ahmad bin Hanbal grew up in a religious environment and received his initial education in a mosque near his home. From a young age, he showed talent in memorizing the Quran and grasping religious sciences. After completing his primary education, Ahmad ibn Hanbal joined scholarly circles in Baghdad, where he studied under prominent scholars of the time. He learned jurisprudence, hadith, creed, and other religious sciences. After acquiring extensive knowledge in Baghdad, Ahmad ibn Hanbal embarked on journeys to seek knowledge in various places, including the Hijaz, the Levant, Egypt, and other major Islamic lands. Upon returning to Baghdad, he began teaching and transmitting the knowledge he had acquired to students. Through his teaching and writings, he became known for his wisdom and deep understanding of Islamic jurisprudence. Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal faced several intellectual and political confrontations during his lifetime, particularly regarding certain jurisprudential and theological issues that were controversial at that time. Thanks to his significant contributions to religious sciences and the establishment of the Hanbali school of thought, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal had a profound impact on Islamic thought. His influence continued through the ages, shaping Islamic jurisprudence and theology. Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal's upbringing reflects a journey of scholarly and religious pursuit marked by learning, teaching, and influence. He played a major role in the development of Islamic thought and jurisprudence during his time and beyond. Achievements of Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal 1. Establishment of the Hanbali School 2. Compilation of Noble Hadith 3. Defending Sunnah 4. Stance Against Innovation 5. Endurance under persecution. 6. Influence on Islamic jurisprudence. 7. Legacy of scholarship. The most important books and publications. Musnad Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Kitab al Zud. Kitab al Sunnah. Yusul al Sunnah. Al Masail al Almiya wal Fatawa. Al Rad al al Zanadika wal Jamiya. Certainly, here are some additional distinctive aspects of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. 1. Courage and perseverance. 2. Tolerance and humility. 3. Dedication to education. 4 charitable work and benevolence 5 spiritual and moral influence these aspects highlight the complete personality of imam ahmad ibn hanbal who combined steadfastness and faith with humility and tolerance towards others he had a significant impact on belief and behavior in the islamic world and beyond